Grab your beautiful fabric, your bright colored thread. We're going to make this gorgeous coaster from Creative Kiwi. Keep watching and learn how to do it step by step. Okay, so the first thing is gather all your supplies. It's the usual for a Creative Kiwi coaster. We're going to use water soluble stabilizer, beautiful thread, and a uh, gorgeous fabric. So the first step is going to be stitching the outline of where you're going to place your fabric and your batting. So all in one fabric and batting. I probably could have ironed my layer cake, but I didn't. So I'm working with it. So the second step is going to stitch that down and hold it down and uh, then we can work on the rest of the design. Now it does do a center circle. You don't have to put a different colored fabric on. I decided last minute and I picked another fabric that is from the layer cake. So we have hedgehogs and snowflakes. However, we have orange and we have yellow and I thought they were just perfect. So once that stitches out, if you decide to put a different fabric, then use your duck build scissors and very carefully cut it out. You can see how lovely and close I'm getting to the line with my duck build scissors. That's awesome. Put your hoop back in and now it's going to do some of the design work. I also added the backing fabric. For some reason, I didn't get it on video. I'm not sure why. Maybe I bumped the camera or something. But you want to slip the backing fabric, which I used a matching fabric from the layer cake. You slip it underneath the hoop and uh, you can do it at the same time as you do your top one. It depends if you want it reverse, reversed or not. So when it does that solid tack down stitch, it's going to hold both of them. So once that's done, you get your applique scissors out. Now I pulled it onto my table. I find it a lot easier doing it this way. My applique scissors are lovely and sharp, so I do make short work of this. Um, again, I still have my thick batting, but it seems to get through it quite nicely. So I'm doing both the fabric and the batting on it. And because the design is so well done and the outside of it, I absolutely love the outside of it. It's just uh, one or two cuts for each, you know, end part of it. And you can get quite neat about it. These duck build scissors are saving the day. They are absolutely fantastic. And I'm really able to get nice and close. So the closer you get without going over the line, the better your project, your embroidery project is going to look when you're done. So really take your time cutting this out. That was easy. Now I'm going to do the back and you can see it is in fact the same fabric and it's really easy to cut. It's snip and snip and I get nice and close to the line and it looks really, really good. I actually really like the little hedgehogs on it. You don't really notice that they're hedgehogs when everything is, is done, but the orange color I thought the Dresden um, design looked like a sunshine. So that's why I went with bright colors and oranges and yellows. Doesn't even matter what the print is. So once you carefully trim out both sides, we're going to put it back onto the machine and we're going to do some detail work. So the first thing that's going to stitch out is just a quick zigzag to hold the edges down on the center part. If you don't have the center part done, you can always skip it, but you don't have to. It can just stitch it out and it'll be fine. And now we're going to do a zigzag awesome connection, by the way, if you guys saw that from the center to the outside, there's no trim and there's no, you know, jump stitch or anything. It just traveled along the lines. So uh, it's going to do zigzag stitch to hold everything down. And then we're going to start with a whole lot of satin stitches. Now, these are really fun to watch because of the pattern that they go in. So they stitch the satin stitch and then on top is the beautiful design stitch that Creative Kiwi um, is known for and it does it all 
you know, at once sort of thing. So it does the satin stitch and then it does the over stitch. So when it's done stitching out this part, it's done. And it looks gorgeous. You see how nicely it's done there. Yeah, I really like it. Of course, I love the stitches on top of the satin stitches. I think it's gorgeous. So you can see my nice bright colors, my nice bright yellow. Now this part takes a little bit of time because there are are a lot of stitches. I am doing the 8x8 size. I love my 8x8 hoop. I seem to use it for just about everything and I think it's a great size to make coasters. Maybe a little bit big so if you want to go smaller but certainly any of the sizes will work. Now look how gorgeous this is. Now I could picture this with you know Christmas. It almost looks like a, a poinsettia. You can change your fabric you can pick something kind of crazy because the stitches, the satin stitches will hold everything down. But once that's done, you can change colors or leave it. I left mine to the same color because I still wanted that bright yellow, although it would have looked really nice with an orange as well. So you can think outside the box a little bit with the center part and it'll change how everything looks. So I'm loving this. I just kept the yellow and the orange and it doesn't matter that it's hedgehogs and snowflakes. It's just the colors. So to me, it looks like a sunshine. So I wanted to bring some sunshine to my living room. But like I said, I'm thinking Christmas colors. It almost looks a point like a poinsettia. You could do, of course, my favorite Halloween colors. I think this would look amazing with Halloween fabric and say like purple and uh, the lime green, the bright green. You can just have so much fun with this design and it looks really amazing when it's done. It's absolutely perfect. Any boo-boos that you make in cutting will be covered up. It's really a foolproof design, super fun to watch and not too labor intensive. I love it. So thank you again, Creative Kiwi, for such a gorgeous sunshine and versatile design. I hope you guys get stitching this. This is off awesome. There's a link in the description of where you can pick up this Dresden coaster from Creative Kiwi. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!